Hey guys, let's talk about Anthony and let's talk about Jimmy. So we don't discuss Jimmy that often on this channel and no particular reason, just that he got out pretty early. He is an intelligent individual. He saw these signs and said, you know what? I probably am better off with Marco than Anthony uh, in terms of what partnership it looked like. Uh, he gave up a lot. He gave up quite a bit just to go with Marco. Uh, Anthony was going to create businesses with him, coffee stores, sushi restaurants. Anthony was paying all the bills. I think there were two big moments when Jimmy realized something was wrong. Number one, after the Watts Nicholas, how poorly he handled that. Um, that definitely was not a good, I mean, if that was your boss and your livelihood is dependent on that individual, the way that you would handle it and the anger, the basically what happened was he got very upset. And then he went made a attack video. Then he made a apology video, which was cut short. I would be very concerned if that was my own boss, right? In terms of how unstable he seemed. And in all honesty, that was really, really unstable behavior. So he's sitting there. Liz is saying, oh, we're gonna, our undying gratitude and so on. And he's looking at Liz like it's not just Anthony. It's also Liz. Liz at that part, just right before that meeting, got a really fancy apartment. She was living by herself. This guy's living with Anthony and his debauchery and, and so on. And I'm, I'm sure he's like, you know what? I deserve more than Liz does. But Liz is getting paid out the wazoo to be a box packer. So in this meeting, it probably... You know, he's putting one and one together. He's sipping his, you know, uh, orange juice very slowly. And he's making all these facial expressions, which indicate that he doesn't want to be part of this anymore. Anthony's giving him an out, which Liz does not take. Because, again, Liz is being overpaid. Here, here we have two individuals. One of them is educated. One of them has a corporate job or had a corporate job. One of them is probably going to be go back to Grand Caliber. The other one has nowhere to go, is basically you know, a box packer, did not make it as a saleswoman, and is certainly not an entrepreneur in my eyes. So that's why one stayed, one went. Now you can see Jimmy is very uncomfortable with this discussion. He does not want to have it, and he does not want to have it filmed. Uh, this is the moment where he realizes something is terribly wrong and he must leave. Now, on top of this, um, there was another incident, which I want to draw your attention to, and that was at the Clippers game. I thought it was a Lakers game, but it was a Clippers game at the Staples Stadium. And this thing was very appalling. In fact, I would even say that um, it showed who Anthony was to Jimmy. So they just had purchased a bunch of uh, roast beef and Diet Coke, and they, they probably spent $100 on food. Now they heard about a dessert cart and they paid the dessert cart woman. And I have a clip of this. And again, I really do think these people should be fired uh, to skip hungry paying customers to come to their room. And they ordered $220 of dessert from a Modi dessert cart that didn't look very good. So I'm going to repeat this again. He spent two hundred and twenty dollars after he already paid probably a hundred dollars to feed every uh, to feed him and Jimmy. It, it makes no sense. Uh, no one needs that much dessert, you know. It, it's overkill. And then on top of that, he gave one hundred dollars cash to a woman. And Jimmy in the background is saying, "Hey, this is not the road to the one hundred thousand dollar penthouse." And Anthony's saying, "Oh, that's two and a half months from now." So I think there are, you know, being with somebody and seeing how irresponsible they are with money, that would be a very big concern. So that happened before this happened. And I'm sure that was running in his mind is how can you pay $200 for dessert, $220 plus for dessert. It was actually $300 with a tip. That didn't include the tip. The tip was paid in cash. It was $300, $400 for just some shitty cake. 
Um, again, the cake was not very good. The cake is, you know, I mean, it looked bad. The, so I, if you're Jimmy, you're sitting there thinking, how is this reality? How is this real? Um, he just paid Liz and Darby's rent. He just paid for this really shitty cake to, you know, for that I don't even want to eat. And he didn't even want to eat it. Um, he didn't even want to eat it. He was trying to save money. Uh, there was that. There was a clip where Anthony's like, oh, we'll take three of those. And, and Jimmy said, no, no, we'll, we'll only take one. We'll only take one. And one of every cake still was $230, which then was the $100 of cash tip. I've never, you can have a really nice meal of that money. If it's a $400 dessert, I mean, I don't know what that type of dessert looks like, but it certainly doesn't look like cake sitting on, like, you know, pre-made cake sitting on a cart. I don't really know. Um, it is astounding the money that they wasted. Um, and this is a sample example. You might go, oh, $400, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad, but this is a sample of what's happening. And he's done it before at the sushi restaurant where he paid the dude $100 so he didn't have to wait. So he cut in line. He's all about cutting in line. And these people should lose their jobs because they had a job. They should have gone door to door, right? And asked, does anyone want dessert? And then when they got to Anthony, he can buy as much as he wants. But he's paying them hundreds, a hundred dollar tip, and it's always a hundred dollars, so he can skip the line. That is bad service, man. If you're representing a brand, I think this is what kind of clicked in Jimmy's head. If you are representing a brand and you care about your brand, the last thing you want to do is have your employees go rogue over cash, because a you don't make money from it. That transaction is straight cash to that woman, and b. Um, it just makes if customers, other customers find out, they're going to not want to ever deal with you again because that's not fair. And I think these two combined, how he treated Watts Nicholas and then how he responded in a very crazy maniac way. Uh, Jimmy was like, you know what? I, I got to get out. I got to get out. Um, there was a time period he was still, quote, doing business with Anthony even after he got out. Um, I think that was a facade, right? That Anthony wanted to show that, oh, Jimmy didn't leave because things were bad. And, and Jimmy didn't really speak up and, and say what was on his mind. But there was a time period, and there was an incident where you know um, that this was this type of behavior, right? The massage things, and then the reaction to the massage thing was probably not appropriate for if, if this guy's going to run a multi million dollar company. You would want your CEO to be stable, logical, and reasonable most times. And you definitely don't want him to be bribing people and, you know, for cake of all things on camera. So again, we have a scenario where, in my personal opinion, um, A, he is very, I mean, he's got, he definitely put one and one together quite fast. Uh, much faster than Liz and Liz and Darby still, according to themselves, have no idea what went on. But in my opinion, it's pretty clear what went on. They they benefited from it, so why not stay? I mean, it's understand it's understandable and reasonable. I just don't think it's ethical, and it might even not be legal. So, I think uh, in terms of what is going on, um, I think Liz and Darby are definitely maybe in some financial trouble. I definitely want. I would not want to be them. And have the IRS and FBI because they will, they will absolutely, they will absolutely be put on blast, right? So again, I do think, um, I do think that this type of be, I, I feel like that they eventually figured it out. Like they must have eventually figured it out. We know that the right-hand man, sometimes the left-hand man, depending on what side of the camera you're facing, was not impressed by this cake-buying experience, and he tried to limit the amount of money he had paid. Um, I don't know why or how or even you know, the logic behind it, like, I'm never going to go ahead and I'm never going to go ahead and do this. 
where you spend $400 on Modi cake that doesn't even look that good and you want one of each cake and you would pay a server. I mean, that's just not how things work, right? You just can't pay the, you can't pay to skip line at McDonald's. Someone's going to punch you. But in these higher places, I mean, it's, it's so funny when Anthony doesn't realize what he's doing. He's exposing these people to losing their jobs because he has them on film. And it's obvious where he is in the restaurant or for the sushi restaurant. Man, I would never eat there, man. I, I don't want to you know, wait in line and have a douchebag cut in line to, for me because he's willing to give the $100 tip and then make a big deal about it. Like the whole tipping thing was just obnoxiously stupid. And if I was if I was Jimmy and we were trying to get this penthouse and we and this is your spending behavior, I would be very concerned. And if I was Jimmy and you, the news of the massage came out and then this is your and your reaction was uh, as bad as it was, I mean it was a very bad reaction. Then I would I would not want to be there either. Like that's not a leader that you can follow. That is a psychopath who's going to burn down the village, the great market village it's not even um it's not even a good idea um it, it just to put that on camera is just so terrible guys it's so so bad uh i i can't imagine the the logic behind it and I, Jimmy, you know, he was preventing them from buying cake. He's like, oh, we don't need to spend this money. We don't need to spend this money. We don't need free. Anthony's like, oh, we need free slices of that cake. And Jimmy, no, no, please, please. One, one slice, one slice. I mean, yikes, my dudes. It is big, big yikes in my personal opinion. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's just look at the money that was given to her. She's like so happy. I, I get a tip, but like not a bribe. That's a bribe. <laughs>